Hi and welcome to the 25th edition of Physics 9. Uh, we are actually uh, having a lot of sessions <laughs> for this subject, but I hope that uh, you are uh, learning the men so much about physics and that you're also having fun while you're, while you're you know, <laughs> learning. And so in this video lesson, we are still focusing on uh, the following learning competency, which is to explain energy transformation in various activities or events, such as waterfalls, archery, and amusement rides. So I uh, th I think that uh, you may have noticed na parang wala pa tayong pinag-uusapan related to that, no? Pero uh, I promise that uh, it will soon uh, figure out and that uh, when it uh, comes, uh, you understand all of the parang uh, surrounding concepts dun sa transformation of energy. And I'm Sir CJ and uh, welcome to this video lesson. Uh, this is based on the 7E-based self-learning module in Science 9 which I wrote for my master's degree. Um, particularly, it's found in the Unit 4, book number 21, pages number 6 until 8. In this video lesson, our focus, our foci are uh, the following under observe a discussion about work done through an angle and then you're gonna have your own uh, we're gonna have our sample problem di muna pala yung own and independent problem mo uh, we are going to work muna on the problem together and uh, figure out how to solve it uh, if it's uh, work done through an angle and then the last one is we will be discussing what it means uh, to have a positive or a negative work Ayan. So, uh, these are the parts of this session. Let's now dive in. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was just my desk. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, continue. Uh, we had a discussion, we had even some sample problems related to um, work that happens uh, when the uh, direction of the force is parallel uh, to the application of... Uh, the force or the, dis the distance covered. So that's what I mean. Uh, halimbawa, if you push the car towards, say for instance, uh, the right or forward, uh, and the, if the cart is moving, it moved to the right or forward, we can say that uh, work was done. But uh, those were actually examples where the force applied and the distance that was covered are uh, parallel with each other. Now, what if the distance covered is completely horizontal but the work or the force was applied uh, with respect to an angle such as uh, in this case can we say that uh, there is work done so i wanted to speculate muna and uh, think for yourself all right now as you can see the box is uh, pulled towards the right uh, by a force that is applied at a certain angle with respect to the horizontal. Although the box was uh, kumbaga, uh, kumbaga it moved towards the right, it was that was successful. But the application of the force kasi, is quite different in this case. It's not um, entirely applied towards the right. It's actually applied ng medyo parang uh, north-east, right? Ayan. Um, the mechanical energy of this illustration, unlike the first case of doing work, which is parallel, requires the use of the f uh, following formula instead, which is work is equal to uh, force times displacement, which is basically the same formula we had in the uh, previous video lesson. And uh, this time, we're going to be using lang cosine theta. Ayan. So uh, cosine theta is... Uh, kumbaga, um, a term that we are quite familiar with, right? Yeah, you remember that in Project Till? We were using cosine theta or cos, cos, actually not cosine theta. We were using cosine as our choice of trigonometric function for problems that indicate that forces or motion are going along or with respect to the horizontal axis. So, kapag uh, the horizontal x-axis. So, uh, if you remember projectile motion, kapag meron ng kinalaman sa horizontal na x-axis yung ating uh, problem, uh, we are using cosine. And uh, kapag naman may kinalaman sa vertical, we were often using uh, sine. Right? Now, um, 
You know about the formula? Let us now uh, try and uh, solve a problem related to it, shall we? Okay. Now, for this problem, when we got home, I put, I put the grocery items on a pull cart so it's easier for us to transport them inside the house. And speaking of house, I think you have been uh, hearing some, uh, no, some doors that are uh, closing and opening. Well, don't mind them. <laughs> They're just my uh, company here at, at home. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's continue. Now, I pulled the cart with a force of 375 newtons. Uh, from the gate to the doorstep, which is actually 3.45 meters away. Now, I had to stop pulling the cart because I had to pay the tricycle driver who gave us a ride. Now, how much work did I exert if I was pulling the cart at an angle of 45 degrees? So, uh, given a genong force, given na rin yung distance, given na rin yung uh, angle. Now, uh, remember, we're gonna be using cosine. Alright, so the givens are listed here and we're looking for the value of work. Ayan. So, um, I hope that uh, these are the same kinds of givens that are listed So answer sheet mo. Okay, label them properly. Ha? Make sure that we have correct units. Okay, can we now proceed? Alright, now for the solution, you remember what was the formula? We're gonna be using that. Okay, so what was the formula? Okay, it was work is equal to force times distance times cosine theta. Okay, the next step will be substituting the given. So go ahead and substitute the given factors in this formula. Are you done? Alright, so work is equal to force, multi uh, which is 375 newtons, multiplied by 3.45 meters, which is uh, the value for displacement, and cosine 45. Alright, now we will be carrying out the uh, operations. So in here, you're going to start with cosine 45, and then you'll multiply that by 3.45, and then you're going to be multiplying that by 375. And uh, remember, the units that you will be getting will be newton meters. So, uh, go ahead. Are you done? Okay, did you get the following? Okay, so uh, the work that was done uh, was 914 Newton meters. Alright. Now, what does that mean? Um, therefore, uh, it means that I uh, did 914 Newton meters of work uh, to the cart. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with, um, you know, Newton meter as a unit, it's actually equivalent to uh, the same amount of an uh, absolute value for joules because uh, one joule is equal to one Newton meter. Okay, so uh, that, therefore, if I have 914 Newton meters, I uh, actually have 914 joules of work. So it's kind of like the same thing here, okay? It's just that uh, iba lang yung pagkaka-express. Now, for ease of reference, remember the following equivalents. Take note of them. Are you done? You might be needing them in uh, your uh, independent problem-solving exercise. Alright, if that is so, if you're done, let us now proceed with the last part of this session, uh, which is a discussion about uh, positive and negative work. Okay, so uh, work can be positive or negative. Okay, so ano sa tingin mo yung dahilan kung uh, bakit siya magiging positive at bakit naman siya magiging negative? Mm -hmm. Okay, now when the work done on an object is along the direction of the motion of the object, kapag halimbawa, yung ginang, ginawang work sa isang object is uh, pa-forward, and in direction ng motion ng object gumalaw din siya pa forward, then we can say that the work is uh, positive. Okay, so um, kapag alimbawa, pa puntang right yung force yung, or yung work, and then nag-cover din siya ng distance na papuntang right, we can say that the work was positive. Very good. Now, if, for instance, the direction of the work done opposes the direction of the object's motion, uh, we can say that uh, there was negative work. Now, um, what does that mean? There are times when uh, we are pushing something forward, but that something is uh, resulting to a backward 
uh, motion. So we can say that there was negative work kapag ganun. Negative work always opposes the motion of an object while positive work always aids the motion of the object. Now, uh, this is the reason why we are going, when we are going down a flight of stairs, it is so much easier compared to uh, going up it. Why? Because uh, there is a force, uh, yung force of gravity, that's actually helping us go down. Okay, so uh, the uh, work or the force that is being exerted by gravity is downwards. And when we are going downwards, it's easier. That's positive work. Okay? However, when we are going upwards, the uh, force of gravity is pulling us downwards. But our bodies are moving upwards. And in that case, we are doing negative work. And uh, gravity is contradicting us. So it makes it very difficult for us to ascend. Right? Okay, so remember that uh, positive work uh, involves work that is done uh, and it is following the motion of the object whereas in negative work, it's the opposite. Alright. Now we're done with this session. The 25th session is quite fast, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we, you, may, uh, you may not have noticed this but pero, uh, we were able to discuss uh, what happens or what do we, or what do we do when work is done through an angle and we even had a sample problem related to that, right? And uh, we also concluded this video lesson discussing what it means to do positive or negative work. Remember that uh, this 25th session is based on the 4th uh, unit, 21st book, pages 6 to 8 of the 7e-based e self-learning module. And the focus of this current video lesson is uh, for you to be capable of explaining energy transformation in various activities or events such as waterfalls, archery, and amusement rides. This is Sir CJ and I hope that I will see you in the next video lesson and I hope that we will be in the next video lesson. Thank you for bearing with me. I'll see you next time.